Hey everyone, it's Tim from Booth Events. Today we're gonna to do something fun. We're going to create a payment flow link and we're gonna integrate that into Booth Events. And so in this scenario, what we're chasing is that you wanna charge each customer who uses the booth a separate charge to use the booth. And so the example could be that it's like an unattended booth at a restaurant, whatever you've got. So let's take a look at doing this with Stripe. Now, you don't have to use Stripe. You just need to use something that can make a QR code and lots of payment services support QR codes. I like Stripe, so I'm gonna use Stripe, but you can use anything you want. So here I am, I'm signed into a, a test uh, Stripe account that I'm, I'm on. And on the dashboard here today, um, what we're gonna do, and I'm on test mode. If you're doing this for real, you don't wanna be on test mode. Uh, we need to click the more and then you need to click payment links because what we're doing is we're creating a payment link. Okay, and we get a nice little thing saying we're going to create a checkout page in just a few clicks. Stripe makes this really easy. So I'll click next. And it is a product or a subscription. That's the right type. And of course, I need to add a, a new product for this because I haven't done anything. So let's call it like um, a single booth session. Okay, and I'm going to add that as a new product by clicking there. And now I have the choice to put a few things in there, like whatever I want. It, it, these aren't going to be shown in the app, but they are going to be shown in the payment flow. So my recommendation is you can fill these in when you have time. You can go back and do them afterwards as well. But for now, let's just put in a price. We're in Canada, so we're going to keep it in Canadian dollars. You'll probably want to put it somewhere else. And you want this to be a one-time price. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and add the product. And there we go. Um, and I'm not going to do any of these other things. I don't want to make this complicated for this example. You can figure out what you want to do. Okay, so now I've created a payment link, and here you can see I have this, this payment link. And Stripe makes it super easy. There's this QR code button. I'm going to click that right there. And then I'm going to click download the image. Okay, let's save that in my downloads real quick. Okay, so what that means is I've now got an image saved. So now I'm going to go over to Booth Events. So here I am signed into Booth Events. Let's create a new event. We'll call that um, Test Payments. And we'll create that. And now that I've created this, the way that we're going to integrate these things together is with the data collection feature. So I'm going to hit the Edit button on the event here. And then I'm going to go over to the Data Collection tab. And I'm going to turn it on. And this is the kind of standard text that we have in our data collection feature, um, which is kind of like a disclaimer, but that's not what we're going to use it for. So I'm just going to change it to, uh, hi, to use this booth, uh, you need to pay $50, which is, by the way, ridiculous, but I'm just making an example. Okay, and now the most important thing is I need to put the, the link in there, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Because hit that image button there, and then we're gonna go upload. I'm gonna browse my QR code. There it is. I'm gonna stick that in there. Safe. Boom. Okay. All right, and now by default, it's not gonna only show this, it's gonna kind of collect all of these details. Um, and my guess is that you don't necessarily need to know their names, so I'll just take those out. Um, but you can change these however you want. So I'm just going to simplify this really big. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we need to make it so that at the end of the payment flow that there's some password given to them that we can then ask for in the app. So we haven't set that up yet, but let's first just finish in Booth Events. Let's just put in what the password has to be. So we'll say the password is Boothing and we'll put a label like um, please enter the password you see at the end of the payment flow. Okay, great. And it's required, obviously. You have to enter that password in order to continue. Okay, great. And I've also left the terms and conditions things in here. So like normally I would under here or somewhere in here, I would put in the terms and conditions and you need to make sure you're covering your butt for whatever country you're in and sort that out. Okay. So I'll hit save the changes, and now we're done. Okay, so that's finished. So then in the next segment, what we need to do is show how to put that password in the payment flow. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to take that password, boothing, and we need to show that somewhere 
in the payment flow. So I've gone back to Stripe here, and I'm on my payment link that we just created and we grabbed the QR code for. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to these three dots, and I'm gonna hit the edit button like this. Now once I'm in here, I have some, some options here. I'm gonna click on this option after payment. And then I'm gonna click down here on the confirmation page. I'm gonna click replace the default with a custom message. So I'm gonna put like, the password is boothing. Okay, great. So when they finish, they'll see that the password is boothing, which is what we need. And I'm gonna hit update the link. Okay, great, that's it. We're all set. So now let's see what this actually looks like on the iPad. So now here I have the iPad running the Booth Events app and I'm going to launch this event that we started, we created, and you'll see what happens now when I press one of the buttons, like say photo, I get this pop-up. And there's the message that I typed in and there's the image that I put in. Obviously you can dress that image up and make it look prettier and resize it, do all the things you need to do. I've just done this quickly for a demo. Now, You'll see if I hit continue, it's like, no, you have to agree to the terms and conditions, and no, you have to enter the password, right? So you can't continue because you don't know the password. So when I take my mobile phone, if I'm pretending I'm a guest, so here's my mobile phone, and I open up the camera on my mobile phone, and I hold it over the link, and use my camera to open up that QR link. Okay, great, so here's, I'm seeing now what that payment process looks like if I'm pretending to be the guest. So let's go ahead and fill this in. Great. Put in the credit card. Okay, great. So I'm going to hit pay. This is obviously just a test payment, but it's a great way of testing out our flow to see how it works. Okay, great. Now I can see this page, this page right here shows me what the password is. The password is boothing. Okay, and now if I go into the app, if I pretend I'm the guest, I'm now at the iPad and I'm typing that password in. So I'll type in boothing and hit next, continue. Boom, off I go. I can select my template and take my photos. Okay, so that's how you can integrate a payment link into the flow for booth events so that you can get paid for each session. Hope that helps.